Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. So as you've heard by now, Scott Turner has been fired, has been relieved of his duties of as offensive coordinator of the Washington Commanders. Uh, that news broke yesterday afternoon, and uh, as far as reactions from the Washington Commanders fans, I think overwhelmingly we all felt like this is something that needed to happen. Uh, as you could see throughout the season, play calling was just at times atrocious, I felt. You know, if you could go back and look at my Twitter, my tweets uh, throughout the season, you would see this play calling is atrocious. This is a horde play calling. I'm done with Scott Turner. Um, very few times did you actually see me say Scott Turner called a good game. I may have actually said that once, maybe, maybe twice. I mean, I, you know, I would give props when, when props were due, but, you know, for the most part, Scott Turner, here's the thing. I think that Scott Turner probably is really good at drawing up plays, and, you know, I'm sure that he has gotten a lot of that from his father, North, over the years, so as far as drawing up the plays fantastic they had some great plays that at times was like okay that was a great play but in terms of flow throughout the game and and I think that is one thing that I noticed watching the games was that you can tell when you have a really good play caller and when you have someone who's just kind of throwing the spaghetti against the the wall to see what sticks because there were times where it was like why are you calling this play at this particular point this didn't make any sense and it wasn't and I'm not just talking about the the fourth and one calls where you know why are you not calling a uh, quarterback sneak or you know, a, a run up the middle or anything like that, you know, instead of like one of these deep tosses in the backfield to for the running back to try to, to run about five yards to pick up, you know, three or four inches. I'm, I'm talking about just out of the blue, just weird plays, you know. And, and now I get the fact that every now and then you're going to call a gadget play to, to – not the defense off kilter, you know, to surprise them, to, to, you know, keep them in check. But there were just times more than often, unfortunately, where we just really saw that there was just no flow with the game of, with the play calling. And I think that was the biggest knock on Scott Turner was the fact that, he just really couldn't get into a rhythm, you know, unless that it was those, usually there, there's scripted plays um, in the beginning of a game. You script your first, I don't know how ever many, maybe your, your first seven to ten plays. And, you know, these are just the plays that you're going to call at the beginning of, of the game and... You know, so you work on that flow there, but as you progress throughout the game, as a play caller, you're supposed to get into a rhythm because you kind of you you've studied the tendencies of the defense. You kind of understand what the defensive coordinator is going to be calling, and so you're countering that, and you're getting into your flow of your play calling, and we just never really saw that materialize with Scott Turner. There might have been a game or two where you could see Scott Turner getting into a flow, but that was so inconsistent that it just, it was more times than not that we, um, I guess that we didn't see, is that a double negative, <laughs> that we didn't see good play calling as opposed to 
good pl play calling is what I'm trying to say. And so I think overall it was the right move. Now, here's some things I would say um, in defense of, of Scott Turner. And I'm just go with me for a second. Did he have the best quarterback to, to deal with? No. You know, when you're calling plays uh, for Taylor Heineke, you know, a guy who doesn't have the strongest arm, <clears throat> you obviously have to tailor your play calling. Um, you have to try to, to call plays in which you get the, the ball out of, out of his hands faster, more timing passes, uh, not relying on drop back deep passes as much because he just doesn't have that arm. So you're having to go into your playbook to find calls like that um, that will keep him upright, that will hopefully uh, keep the offense matriculating down the field. Um, so I understand that. You know, you've, you've had, you've trotted on so many different quarterbacks in the last three years. What was it, eight different quarterbacks that Scott Turner had to call plays for? I get that. Offensive line um, has been shuffled around so many times. Um, so I get that as well. You know, it, when you have an offensive line that's less than stellar, that's that's hurt, it's hard to protect your quarterback. It's hard to have guys in there who's <clears throat> who's consistent enough to create running lanes for your running backs. You know, it, it's tough. It's tough to really keep with a good play calling and a good flow of the game. So those are things that, you know, Scott Turner, that, that wasn't his fault on that. And that does affect play calling. <clears throat> Overall, though, in the end, he can only control what he can control. And I think that given the fact that <clears throat> This year, for the most part, he had Carson Wentz and he had Taylor Heineke again. At this point, you've seen enough with Taylor Heineke. He's seen enough with Taylor Heineke that he knows what he's got. So he should have been able to get into a good flow to call a good game with Taylor Heineke and his quarterback. And yeah, I mean, you know, Commanders won several games in a row with Taylor. Did the same thing last year as well. But that's, that's not to say that the play calling was great throughout those games. And there were a lot of times where there were a lot of head scratchers. And when us fans, uh, what I often call the untrained eyes, are seeing this and we're like, what was that? And you can even tell it on Ron Rivera's face sometimes when the camera would, would switch to Ron Rivera and he's got that look on his face like, what did Scott Turner just do? You can tell he was done. So some people, you know, it's funny. Uh, the same people who are saying, who said Scott Turner needs to go are the same people this morning saying, um, well, Scott Turner was the scapegoat. You can't have it both ways. Uh, Scott Turner did need to go. <clears throat> offensive coordination was not good this year. We need somebody else. Now, I will say uh, this whole thing of uh, a two-to-one ratio of run to pass doesn't work in the NFL. <clears throat> I do agree. You, we do need to have a strong running game, and we do need to give the ball to B-Rob on those short runs, especially those fourth-and-one runs. Why do you not have B-Rob in the game on those short runs like that. But <clears throat> in today's modern NFL, it's not a two to one either way. Uh, you, you need to have a balanced offense. Um, now folks will say the running game doesn't mean as much. That's dumb as well. Um, you look at any team that our Super Bowl winners, they have a strong running game. More times than not, you're going to have a good, strong running game as well. So you got to have balance. It's got to be as close to 50-50 as possible. So 
I don't believe in this two to one ratio. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I I think it has to be more of a one to one ratio, pass to run, run to pass, whichever way you want to look at it. <clears throat> you can be a pass first or run first. If that's what Ron Rivera is trying to get at, that's fine. You can be a run first offense, but you got to be balanced. You, you can't be heavy on either side because. The defenses are so much more intricate in today's NFL, and these def defensive coordinators are, are so much more, well, I'm not going to say so much more intelligent because that that's that's just a, a knock on, on the, the great ones in the past. But I, I would just say that they've evolved uh, so much with uh, the style of defenses that we have nowadays that you can't be heavy one way or the other. You've got to be balanced. And so I think that's, hopefully that's what Ron Rivera means, is that you, we want to be balanced, but we want to focus on the run first. That I totally get. And you can do that. You can still be that way in today's NFL um, and I think you can be very successful with that in today's NFL, but <clears throat> you can't be heavy either way. Anyway, Scott Turner fired now. Who Who is going to be the next offensive coordinator? Um, as, as sources say that North, North, sources say that Ron Rivera is going to be looking outside of the organization for an offensive coordinator. Um, certainly we're going to hear about um, you know, all of the names that he's tied to and uh, who's who he's going to pick. You know, of course, Rama Vera is notorious about picking his buddies and picking people that he has a good relationship with. And honestly, <clears throat> that is, uh, that's something that a lot of coaches around the league will do anyway. If, if you pay attention, a lot of them will do that. Um, now, certainly you ask anybody else, um, all of us Commanders fans, uh, we're going to say we, we want a young, bright mind who has the knack of play calling. Um, yes, we want the next Sean McVay. We want the next um, Kevin McConnell. Um, yeah, we want those guys. But, but remember, when those guys are hitting on all cylinders – because that they have a quarterback who can deliver. You know, uh, Kevin McConnell um, has got Kirk Cousins, uh, who's not a bad quarterback, um, making him look really good. You know, Sean McVay, um, <clears throat> you know, had Jarrett Goff there at the beginning. Jarrett Goff is not a bad quarterback. Um, and then, of course, uh, when Matthew Safford was... Um, when he was healthy, hitting on all cylinders, they won the Super Bowl. So, you know, and I'm not putting either one down. Believe me, I would have either one of them. If Sean McVay does step down as the Rams head coach and decides he wants to just be an offensive coordinator, I would offer him the moon and the stars to come back to Washington to be the offensive coordinator. Uh, because I love Sean McVay. We should have never let him go. Um, honestly, he should have been uh, offered the the head coaching job in Washington. But at any rate, let me know what you think in the comment section. Scott Turner fired. Um, we're off to our hunt for our next offense coordinator. Change is, is in the air in Washington. Um, hopefully we'll hear some other news soon about ownership change. Uh, like this video, share it with your buddies, help the, help the algorithm out, help me out. It helps me out to get this video out to others. When you like, you interact with this video, leave a comment. Let's talk about it. And I will see you in the next one. Hell to the commanders, folks. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.